In today's video, we're going to extend this project and start making our create account mutation. So while you were gone, I actually changed the folder structure because this project directory was actually getting pretty messy. Um, all I did was create a source folder and put the lib modules, pages and types folder inside of the source, source folder. And then I had to change some imports in this file over here. I had to change these lines. I also changed this line and this line. So let's get started creating that mutation. So I'm just going to create a folder here in GraphQL and we're going to call it types. And here will be all of our type definitions. So we'll bring our existing um, health type definition here. And I'm going to make a file called index.ts, which is going to export all of our type definitions. So then it can be accessed by your schema here. So here we're going to export test query from our test file. And so we're going to create another file here called login.ts. And now here we're going to write our mutation. So we can export const and we'll name it create account is equal to and we're going to extend a type. And we're going to do this to the mutation type. So this will be a top level mutation in our schema. And then we need a definition like so. And here we define the type so we can define a field and we'll call this create account. Then here we define that field. So this field is going to return a type, which we'll write right now. So let me see if I can leave this empty. No, it doesn't matter. We're going to write the return type right now. So it doesn't matter. So down here we can do const register response is equal to object type. And here we define our object. We can give it the name of register response and define that like so. And a response is going to have a non null string and we'll call it message. So basically, um, we want an error message, either an error message or a message telling the user, oh, check your email because everything went fine. So to verify your account and then here a non null Boolean and we'll name it error. So we're going to use this on the front end to determine if there's an error and if there is, we'll display the message in red. And if there's not, then we'll just display a message normally. And the message will be t telling the user to check their email, basically. And so here, the response for this mutation will be this object that we made. And we also need to define the arguments for this mutation. So here, I'm going to do something similar. And I'm just going to call this credentials equals input object type. The name will be I can just call it credentials or I can call it login credentials and I didn't spell that right. Okay. Then we define it. So this is going to hold basically an email, which is required. And then basically three strings. So one of them will be a username and one of them email and the other one a password like so. And then here we can do args. We'll call it credentials if I can spell credentials, right? And then it will just be a type of credentials. Okay. And this error, actually, I'll explain to you why we're getting this error. The reason we're getting this error is because Nexus does not know about this type definition. Basically the way that Nexus knows about this type is by running this code to make our schema and it generates the types for us into this file right here. But the thing is that we're not generating this file because we're not actually running um, make schema this right here. So we're running, we could run our Next.js server, but it won't actually run this file. It's not a required file to 
open Next.js or anything, so it's not going to run unless we actually head over to um, Apollo Playground. Then make schema would run and it will generate our types. But that's pretty annoying. So I'm going to show you a way to overcome that so you don't have to really worry about your types not generating for Nexus. So you see, once we go here to Apollo Playground, this should work and also we need to actually export this so export star as create account from login so we need to actually export everything and then if you go back here now there's no error because nexus actually registered this type it actually knows about it and it's over here now in our schema if you can see here and the types are in here as well so that's just a little problem that we're going to fix um by the end of this video don't worry about that but we can just continue doing what we're doing and keep this window open and it'll always be regenerating our types every time we save a file so i can go here take off username and when i check my schema here um username is gone and I can put it back and in the schema, it's back again. So once if you have this open, it does that automatically. So now we've created the mutation, but let's actually make the resolver. So here we can do resolve and we can grab the type like this. I'm going to grab the type and I'm going to make a folder here called resolvers. And in here I'll put create account.ts and I'll just make a function and I forgot the const and I'll stick it type there and import that okay so now we have the right types so we have access to credentials and now we can go over here and just assign the resolver like so and we actually have to import that so i'm going to go here and import from resolvers and import that function and i guess i have to name this something else i'm pretty sure you're supposed to do it in uppercase anyways so yeah now it's going to work. And so now we can work on our resolver in this file and keep our business logic separate. For now, all I want to do is do some validation on our mutation and basically return an error if it's not valid and return a default message if it is valid. So to do that, I'm going to use the up. And in here we'll do a try catch block. And we'll catch this error here. And so here, if we get any error, I just want to actually grab that error message. So I'm going to do const message is equal to error as validation error. And if it doesn't have a message already, I'll just put invalid input. And then I'll just return the message an error set to true. So if there's an error, we're going to respond to with an error and the error message. And the error message is going to come from the yup validation, which we're going to do. So I'm going to create another folder in modules called utils. So then here we can create a validate or call it registration validation. And I forgot the dot ts. So here we can do export const register registration validation is equal to and we got to import yup so yup dot object and I'm going to go over here because we already defined that in another in another um, video I'm just going to copy this like so and so now we can go in here and do await 
registration validation dot validate and we validate our credentials and we have to make this asynchronous function and of course I keep spelling that wrong and so if we're here to add this line that means our credentials are validated and they're valid so they matched our validation and everything's going smoothly so in that case I'll just return a message saying um, thanks for registering check your email to validate your account and then the error will be false and also we got to make sure over here in the definition that this argument here has to be a non-null argument so i'll wrap the type in a non-null like that and of course import it from nexus so now the credentials are required for the mutation and everything should be working so i'm going to go over here in apollo playground and write a mutation call it create a count and let's see if it can auto complete for me okay so it takes in a variable called credentials and it passes into the mutation and we're going to want the message as well as any errors and then here we'll pass in an email be like alice at gmail.com and of course this is json so um you have to wrap this in strings password will be um a dumb password like that and the username will be alice hi so now let's run this and here we see everything went smoothly but now let's um forget the at sign in our email so it's just like that invalid email that's the error message we got back from here so this function when it didn't validate it threw an error as a validation error and it has a message already attached to it so that's why this is working fine and we can try putting no password password is required so everything is working smoothly now you could keep this tab open so that your schema keeps getting generated by nexus and the types as well automatically but there might be cases where you don't have it open and and you don't want any bugs to occur so over here on their website i'll put a link in the description they have this here they have a command here that you can run that'll generate the types and all it really does is it runs your schema file using certain options passed into ts node so over here in our package json we want to append that to our scripts And then we can take off the compiler options here because it's just making it compile using common JS and in our TS config, we already have that by default. So we don't need to pass that in. We can just keep it like this. And so before we run our development environment, we can just do yarn run build nexus type gen. And so every time we run our dev server, it'll rebuild our schema as well as our types for everything and if you're actually already in your development server and you edit something you need to change it you can just have another terminal open and just do yarn run build nexus type gen and this is not working because i forgot to change this to source modules graphql and schema.ts so now it should work and there you go so you can just keep another tab open and whenever you change something just up arrow and just do that it might be kind of annoying but also if you have this open it'll do it automatically for those of you that are coding along with me i changed a couple of things so if you notice up here and let me just refresh this page up here before recording this it wasn't showing like the title and that was because I accidentally left the head component in the login and register components. 
So I, I deleted those. So I put it here and I deleted it from those components. And so just be aware of that if you're coding alone. And then my icon, my fave icon was not rendering. I don't know if I had to do something with the caching or something went wrong, but I just renamed the file and it started working again. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.